Hey guys, what's up? This is your girl. I am the Bronze Goddess and I am just getting in. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys really quickly and uh, I hope I don't run out of memory on my camera, but this is really important. It's like kind of late at night and everything. Um, but I had this on my heart and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Um, tonight when I was at work, I was talking to one of my friends who is an amazing chef and, um, she and I were talking and, um, she was telling me about possibly starting her own business and it seems like from everything that she was telling me, all the doors were open. It's like everything was wrapped up in her favorite color bow and she was also you know, it's like, you know, basically like, what's the problem? You know, why don't you go ahead and go for it? And um, she was saying that she was afraid. And so I started talking to her about it. And, you know, I was letting her know that God did not give her the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And we started talking about fear. And from what she was telling me, you know, I just feel this analogy. I feel like from what she was saying that she was standing at a door. And... She was just standing there, and I felt like she was just afraid to reach out and try the knob to see if it was actually open. I said, from what you're saying, I just feel like the fear is to the point where you're scared to even try the knob, to even put some feelers out, to even try to see if the market is ready for what you're trying to do, to even, you know, do a little bit of advertisement, that you're afraid to fail, and the fear of failure is crippling you. You know, you're so worried about what if the door is locked, but what if the door is open? You don't want to be standing at the door. You ever been there? You ever been in that situation where you're like, you're approaching a door and you don't know if it's locked or it's open? You try the knob and you see, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, everything is for her is lined up. Like I said, it's all wrapped up in her favorite color bow and she's just afraid. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because... The door, you know, I'm speaking a little bit, uh, I'm speaking metaphorically, and the door analogy could be anything in your life. The door that I'm speaking about could be you moving out of your small town. It could be you going back to school. It could be you finally deciding to um, fulfill your dream of becoming a homeowner. It could be you deciding to uh, change careers and do what you really love, to explore what, you, what you're really passionate about. It could be anything that door represents anything that you wanted and that you're just afraid to pursue now i'm not saying you necessarily have to jump head first into something but i'm saying there's nothing wrong with looking into it researching it but don't let the fear cripple you because fear is not a godlike emotion you know what i'm saying if you're if you're a christian and you're believing in god he didn't give you that scary spirit you know what i'm saying and um so I just wanted to encourage you guys out there because that door could be anything. And I just want you to know that, you know, trust me, I have been through it. I promise you I have. I've been through it. I've been in situations where I was so scared to make the wrong decision and so scared to move in the wrong direction that I wasn't moving at all. And I felt like life was just passing me by. Because if you're not moving at all, you're standing still. And I don't want to live my life standing still and letting everything pass me by. So at some point you have to stay, step out on faith and, and, and do what you feel that you know, is in your heart and pursue your dreams because it's not going to be given to you. You know, God, he says that he gives you the power to get wealth. If you want to get to the next level and you want to do all these things financially, he gives you the power to do that, but he's not going to just give it to you. You know, he's like, it's going to rain down from you. He'll make it rain. <laughs> He, he wheezy, okay? <laughs> you think it right. <laughs> but <laughs> he will bless you and he'll put you in a position to be blessed. So what I would also ask you is, are you putting yourself in a position to be blessed? If, if you're out there, if you're saying that you're looking for a job, are you, are you going online looking for jobs? Y'all making me have to go get my charger and stuff. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, yeah. So you're looking for a job, are you, you know, are you looking into the paper, are you looking online, are you asking friends if they know anybody that's hiring? What I'm talking about is, tired from running, putting yourself in a position to be blessed. If you sing, are you singing? 
Are you singing at events? Are you letting people know that you sing? Are you singing in a choir? Are you doing free shows every now and then? Are you singing at baby showers? Are you singing at weddings? Are you singing at funerals? Are you putting yourself out there? So you want to be a makeup artist. Are you working on fashion shows? Are you working with hairstylists? Are you working to try to see if you can possibly get in the Bronner Brothers or whatever and do the makeup for those girls? What are you doing? Are you putting yourself in a position to be blessed? Or if you want to be like you want to be a chef, are you looking into schooling? Are you getting cookbooks? Are you learning everything you can? Are you are you trying to get recipes from Big Mama? I don't know. <laughs> But are you putting yourself in a position to be blessed? Because it doesn't just fall out of the sky and it doesn't just happen because you're wishing. You have to put your faith into action. A lot of times people have this faith, well, I believe I'm believing God for this and I'm believing God for that. But you still have to be working. Faith without works is dead. So just saying, oh, I believe, I believe, I believe I'll find a job, but you never leave the house. I believe I'll find a job, but you never look for one. You never actively look for one. You think the phone is just going to ring. Somebody's going to call you and say, hey, is this so-and-so? I got a tremendous opportunity for you. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Keep it real, okay? I don't mean to preach. <laughs> I let my daddy and my stepdaddy do the preach. I, I, don't, I don't mean to preach. But I do mean to encourage you guys out there because, you know, Shame on me for being disobedient, but um, at the beginning of the year, it was on my heart to talk to you about putting yourself in a position to be blessed. And I, I, wanted, I, was, I had planned to do a video at the very beginning of the year to tell you all to put yourself in a position to be blessed. And that if you do that, you know, you can be optimistic about 2010 and what 2010 has in store for you. But you got to put yourself in a position to be blessed. And, you know, I just, I, I never made the video. And... Bad bronze goddess. I never made the video. But um, better late than never. <laughs> it's June, so we're halfway through. My birthday's coming up. Uh, but it's not too late. Put yourself in a position to be blessed. Don't be afraid to step out there on faith. Don't be afraid to put your faith to work. Like I said, you gotta, you got to give that faith something to do. You know what I'm saying? Put, put it to work. Don't just have it sit around and be lazy. Put that faith to work. Dreams can come true and you can, you can be anything that you so desire to be as long as it's lined up with the will of God. You can be. But anyway, I hope this encourages you. I said the video is going to be short. I hope it actually is because I know I can get to talking. And, uh, but I'm only telling you guys this because I love you and I wish nothing but good things and success for every single one of you. You guys have no idea how much you encourage me. And you motivate me. You guys have no idea how like a positive word uh, from you guys um, sending me um, letters and emails and just, you know, tell, telling me happy Mother's Day and stuff like that. You guys are amazing. And I know that on YouTube, you hear it all the time. You know, gurus like, I love my subbies. Like, seriously, like, I love my subscribers. You guys are like 4,000 plus of my friends and you guys are amazing and I honestly honestly I thank God for every single one of you guys because You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, you know <laughs> No, seriously <laughs> I love you. I do. I promise you I do um, You guys brighten up my day you guys It could be like a rough day and I get a chirp on my phone and there's somebody like you know, what's good? Hey, girl, just had you open mind. Be blessed. And I'm like, that's why I do what I do. I do what I do, but I do it like I'm doing it for TV. All right. I love you. <laughs> Bye, ladies and gentlemen. Got a couple fellas rolling with me. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> Later, Divas. Peace.